grazing in Kenya, these giraffes roam freely. They're among the roughly 70,000 adult giraffes remaining in the wild, according to Humane Society International, which estimates that the number of giraffes across Africa has declined by nearly 40 percent over the last 30 years. Conservationists are hoping that will change following this year's Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, or CITES. CITES regulates the global trade of plants and animals, and for the first time it's voted to regulate the buying and selling of giraffes, as well as their skin and horns. This was a, a huge win for the giraffe. It shines a light on the plight of giraffes and their decline. The resolution requires that the trade of the animals be traceable and sustainable. And a similar measure has also been applied to sharks. CITES has agreed to protect 18 species of sharks and rays, including the mako shark, the world's fastest. These marine creatures are threatened by commercial fishing, driven by the high demand for shark fin soup in China. Several countries opposed the CITES measure, including China, but the biggest debate at this year's summit focused on elephants. Delegates decided to impose a near-total ban on sending wild African elephants to zoos, a move hailed by conservationists. But the EU amended the resolution to allow for elephants already in zoos to be transferred to other facilities. Fundamentally, the parties decided that for, if you're a wild African elephant, the appropriate destination for you is wild Africa. Uh, but what the European Union was most concerned about is they wanted to make it very clear in the language of the document that if they wanted to move an elephant from England to France, that they could do so, and they wouldn't have to ship the elephant back to Africa. The measure was opposed by Zimbabwe and Botswana. The two countries have the world's largest populations of African elephants and are among the main providers of the animals to zoos around the world. 183 countries are party to CITES, which was signed in 1973. The next convention will be held in 2022 in Costa Rica.